Hey guys, welcome back to Rated Homeschool. If you're new here, I'm Christina, homeschool mom of five, ages one through 13. And I'm just gonna share a little impromptu um, homeschool day in the life with you guys with three kids, five and under. And that's because my nine and 13 year old are on a field trip today with my husband. So I get to just have fun with the littles today. And so I'm doing some fun nature study stuff with them. And so I'll share that with you guys today. So if you're interested in how to do some nature study from someone who is not super naturey but trying, then follow along. Okay, so let me show you some stuff that I have planned for them today. So I'm really excited to jump in and start this Exploring Nature with Children curriculum. If you're not familiar with it, they have a nature topic for every week of the year. And it just so happens that this week is pond, spring pond study. So I'm super excited because we are gonna take a trip to our favorite local park, which does have a little pond, so it'll work out perfect. Um, so it gives us some information about the pond. It focuses on frogs and toads. It tells you how to do this week's nature walk activity, which is about going to a pond. It gives you a book list, which I didn't have time to utilize because I am kind of came up with this last minute that I wanted to start it. Um, it gives you a poem, a related poem to enjoy. So we'll definitely do the poem. And then it gives you some ideas for extension activities. So pretty cool. And then for her guided journal, we left in um, last week's stuff because we'll just do that whenever we want because we really enjoy birds ever since we did the gather around North American birds unit. But I'll show you what's in here for her for her pond study. So here she'll... Um, sketch or draw or write anything she observes. Here she'll take a picture and we'll print it out and she'll put it here. Here she'll do kind of like color swatches for colors and shades that she saw there. And then this is the poem that I showed you in the teacher's guide and she can do some copy work with it if she wants as much as or as little as she wants. I'll leave that up to her. Obviously, this is like a week's worth of work and it's a Friday, so we're just doing it today and maybe over the weekend. So anything she's interested in, we'll do and anything she's not, we won't. So for the art study, it worked out pretty cool because I had gotten a while ago this free printable from Stephanie Hathaway Design, Story, Stories Begin at Home. And it has this um, water lily pond printable and then also has it again with information. So it's a little bit of an art study and it works perfect because they're about the pond. And um, I did laminate them just because what's really cool is her um, ready to read two that she's gonna be starting in a few weeks is about the pond. So we'll use these and also the gather around unit study we're doing together as a family next is all about artists. So we'll be able to use these for two different units so that's why I chose to laminate these so she'll do some kind of reflection or she'll try to draw one of them there there's a little Venn diagram for the differences and similarities between frogs and toads here she'll sketch the frog and toad life cycle so I just found like this free um, life cycle life cycle of a frog on kindergartenmom.com so I printed that out and laminated that for her um, and then lastly, she'll do a realistic pond scene so she can color, paint, sketch, whatever she wants. So she can either use this or something else. But then I also, these are also from the Stephanie Hathaway Designs Stories Begin at Home free little pond printables. And just like they can trace the word, it tells them what a pond is, and then they can color. So I printed one for each of her and my two-year-old. Um, only because he's going to want to do it if she's doing it. And then a fun little activity I came up with on my own to go along with it is for them to create a little pond scene, like by cutting and pasting and coloring. So they'll start with just like a green piece of construction paper as their base. I did cut out an oval for Sethi to get started with so that he doesn't get frustrated. He can paint, paste that. And then I'll have Gia do her own oval because that'll be helpful for her. And then in here, I have lily pads, frogs, 
fish and these little cattails and I cut them, pre-cut them for them so that it's not a frustrating activity. But then I did, for everything other than the cattails, because they'll be hard to cut, um, I did also leave some in case they want to be able to cut them. They have that option too. Um, and so they'll create their own little pond scene. They can color and add more detail, but this gives them a good start. And then the only other things that I have planned, um, the nature poem for today from this book, A Nature Poem for Each Day of the Year. And it's pretty cool because it's all about spring. So that works out. And then also one of our favorite books that we just have at home, A Frog Thing. We'll read that. It's fun and inspiring. And then the Nat Geo Kids for March just happens to be all about frogs. So how cool is that? So we'll read all about that. And then lastly, I have this little Melissa and Doug um, game or toy. And so I'll put the fish in like a basket like this or maybe something a little bit bigger. Maybe we'll do it outside and they can just kind of play with that and have fun with that. Sethi, are you gluing? So you're going to want to turn this over. So look, turn this over, put your glue on it. I'm cutting out an oval. Good job. All right, so stick down your lily pad, Sethi. Can you push it down? And then you put your frog on your lily pad. Can you put your frog on your lily pad? Where's your frog? Can you put him on the lily pad? Good job. What are you doing now, Jeej? Putting my tail. Cattails? Yeah. Nice. What is this? Some more fish. I'm just gonna do this fish. Like Sethi, are you going to put more fish on there in the pond? Fish. You're going to do a big fish? Yes. All right. Cut. You're going to cut him? Uh-oh. Daddy. He's the daddy? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And that's the mommy? Baby. Where's the pond? Where's the pond that they live in? Yeah, mommy. Can you show me the pond? I accidentally made it. What color is this pond, to... Sethi? I'm gonna make a Green. big fish. Green? I think it might be blue. Uh, stick. Stick. Is it sticking? Yes. Good. All right, I'm gonna read to you guys this poem and it's called Spring. Sound the flute, now it's mute. Birds stick. delight, stick. day and night. Stick. Nightingale in the dale. So my one-year-old fell asleep and she's napping inside. So I've been able to just kind of do the lessons out here in the backyard on the deck with my two-year-old and my five-year-old. And so now they're just kind of exploring in the backyard. They're actually looking for seeds um, out of the helicopter leaves that have fallen off of our tree um, in our backyard so that they can plant trees. Why don't you come show me? What do you have? Ooh, so you found the seed okay. inside there? Yeah, do you think, what do you think I should plant it? Um, I don't know. Where do you think you should plant it? I think we have enough in the front. Well, I think we have enough in here, but maybe one more in here and then... So where do you think would be a good spot for it? I don't know. Are you eating my soup? So I didn't make them lunch yet because they didn't want to stop playing and said they weren't hungry. Mm. Um, so I thought I was going to have a nice relaxing um, 
lunch on the deck while they played in the yard, but this guy's drinking my water and eating my soup. Is the soup yummy? Is it yummy? No shooting. It's pretty good. It's um, plant-based, creamy broccoli potato soup leftovers from last night. Super yum. Is it yummy, Sati? Okay, no bare hands in my soup. Yuck. Yucky. Did you wash your hands? No. No. Sati, what are you doing? Are you going to color your pond? No. So, Gigi, do you see the top? Top where? Top where? Says pond. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. I heard it just tell me. I have a lot of things I want to color on here, so. How do you draw a frog? The natural world is waking after its long winter sleep, and you will begin to see much activity at your pond. Frogs and toads return to the pond to breed, and it is common to sight large numbers of frogs and toads congregating in or around a pond. So my grandmother came over and she is playing in the yard with Jules, who is still on the swing, loving the swing, and Sethi, who's running around the yard, who lost a little bit of interest, but again, that's totally fine. He doesn't really need to do any of this that he doesn't want to do. Gia is really enjoying um, doing her pond picture. Um, right, Gia? Yeah, this is a frog, and then these are lily pads, whatever that is, and then water. Yep, and she drew a frog in her pond, and we are just reading about um, frogs and the classification of frogs and um, the animal kingdom that they're in and the class and the order and the family and all of that. So we're learning about frogs today. Yep, we're learning about frogs today. And we're going on a field trip later, right? Yeah. Do you remember where we're Yeah, and what's there? Um, a lake. Or what are we learning about? What is it called? It's smaller than a lake. It's a what? Pond. A pond, right. How do you spell pond, Jeej? P... Oh, and B. Is that a B or a D? D, 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 D. D, good job. Pond. Right? Yeah. So Gia and I did our lessons, right? Mm -hmm. And we're about to head to the park to check out the pond so we can study the pond in real life because we learned about the pond, right? Yeah, we're going to... And what do we have with us? We have jaws and we have a nature journal. We have a pen. Yeah. And so we so can maybe. Yeah. And mommy say something. Okay. If we want to collect things to kind of study for Wait. our nature studies, we have containers for that, if right? If we need to get bugs or anything or mm -hmm. different leaves or worms. I brought binoculars in case we want to look at some birds or look at anything more close up in yeah. the pond. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we're set. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. So Gia and I just got to the park, right, Teej? Yeah. So we're going to scope out a spot where we want to put down our blanket and stuff, right? Yep. Just looking at stuff. So she's already starting to look around, she said, on her own, right, Teach? Mm -hmm. But we need a place near the pond, right, Mom? Yep, we want to find a place somewhat close to the pond, right? I see, I see rocks so we can observe. I, I see rocks that I want to pick up mm -hmm. and keep. Rocks. Yeah, I gotta see. Those are so we're in New York, so we have a mask mandate while we're walking around. But if we find a nice spot where nobody's around, we can take them off, right, Deej? What about up there? Yep, let's go look. Where's where that? Those trees are. All right, sounds good. Go for it. I'll follow you. So what do you notice? What do you see? I see a lot of Like what? This is a bad place right here. Yeah, it looks kind of yucky. Let's go over there. All right. Like on the other side. All right. That is a little smushy. Yeah, I wouldn't step in the smushy part. So have, where have we been so far? So Gia found us a spot on this cool rock to sit. We've been looking for a spot around the pond, right, Deej? Yeah. We're right in front of the pond. 
So the pond is right here. We've observed a little bit. Um, Mommy. And so we're going to keep going around the pond to see what we can find, right? And then find a spot we want to I'm gonna say stay we for a while. I'm going to the pond. Mm -hmm. So how do I, we found the pond? So we, how do you spell we, mm -hmm. do you think? I don't know. Wuh, wuh. So Gigi, this tells us how to do our nature walk cool. activity. And it says, take a walk to your local pond to explore what is happening there. Now that spring has arrived, notice the water level of the pond. So do you feel like the water level is like high or low or somewhere in between? It's like almost the same as, look at that. What is it? Whoa, what kind of bird do you think that is? It's so low. Going that way, going that way. It's probably going anyway. Just flying around, take a flight, go over to do something. Okay, so. Right what I did? Well, like what I saw. Sure, go ahead and write what you saw in your journal. So this says, how are the colors different from when we visited here in the winter? I don't know how to write what I saw. I saw a. Um, you can just sketch a picture if you want. Yeah. So while you're doing that, though, let's think about what colors are different here than when we visited in the winter. Do you remember when we came in the winter? Mm -hmm. What was it like in the winter and how are the colors different now? Are any of the colors different here? Um, a little bit because there's a little blue, a little more blue and black. Mm hmm. Well, a lot of the a lot of the um, pond was frozen, remember, and had snow on top. So while you're drawing your duck in the water, Deej, I'm going to read to you the poem that goes along with our pond study, okay? okay? You ready? It's called A Friend in the Garden by Juliana Horatia Ewing. You ready? Mm -hmm. He is not John the gardener, and yet the whole day long employs himself most usefully the flower beds among. But in a sunny flower bed, he has his fixed abode. He eats the things that eat my plants. He is a friendly, what do you think? Do you have a guess? I do not. Toad, he's a friendly toad. The poem is about a toad. So Jeet, you're putting green necks on them, huh? Yeah. What does that mean if they have green necks? Do you remember? Yep, they're mallard ducks. And do the males or the females have those green necks? I think females? I think it's the males, but we can always double check. We can do some research when we get home. Ah, it's getting windy. It is windy, you're right. Do they? Yeah. So do you think they're a different kind of duck? Yeah. I'm going to draw a black duck. Okay. doing? Are uh, there like six ducks? Seven? I don't know. Try to count them. See if you can count how many there are. Fifteen. The one in the sky. Did you count the one in the sky? Twenty-two. And what about that one in the sky over there? Another one. Twenty-six. Okay. How do you write twenty-six? How do you think? Take a guess. A tr a what? A tr two and a one. A two and a twenty-six. A two and a. A two and a. A tadpole or something. Oh. Good. 
good spot, Cheech. Yay! What is that? Is that a fish? I don't know. Where is it a tadpole? It's probably a tadpole or a fish. A good tadpole. job. Definitely a tadpole. Good job, Cheech. Wow, good eyes, babes. You'll have to draw that in your journal. Do you want to sit on that bench over there so you can relax and do it? like the ones that you put in your little pond scene today, right? And also there's black, there's windfish, there's... It is kind of cool how it's red, huh? Kind of if you look closely, do you see like where buds might form? Um, where do you think the buds might form? There's trickers and stuff that you should get hot Oh, Seth's trying to face. Careful. Right here? Yep. Uh, to look for any frogs or toads, which you did, and then sketch it, and you have the tadpole to sketch, right? I wonder if there was any green in it that you couldn't really tell because of the color of the pond water. What do you think? Yeah, that was definitely green. You think so? Yeah, you could add like a little bit of green shading in if you want. you do that? Yeah. And then you're going to write a 12. Do you remember what a 12 looks like? There's a 12 going. 10, 11, 12. 10, 11, 12. 10, 11, 12. So good. So March 12th. And then you have to write the time. There we go. Good job. So it's 5 p.m. And then what's the weather? The weather? Do you want to use like a different color for the sun? Yeah. Let's do some yellow. Yeah. Oh, yellow, yellow. So what are you doing now, Deej? Coloring the color. 
colors of the place? So the colors that you okay. see around the pond? Uh-huh. Cool. I'm gonna use some, on the bottom of the, like, on the bottom of the lake there's like brown, like, not this brown sand. Mm hmm So do you think I should do that? Definitely. I don't know what the sand is. I mean, I know what the sand is. Let's try this up. Come on. Let's try this up. Come on. That's like almost a color. Mm hmm What no. do you have in there so far? Show me. What is it? Um... Some pine needles and a pine cone? Yeah, cool. These are like a bud of some sort, see? See right there, the green and yellow? Something growing there. Do you see it? Right there. Oh, yeah. What do you think that is? Something. Yep, something's growing. Yeah. 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 Got this little daddy. Huh? Got these stuff. There's a white one we can keep it. I don't know. Cool. Because I thought this was pink outside, but it's not. It does have like a little bit of a pink tint to it, though. Yeah. I like it. Good so job. It's like a little stack. So Gia is all tuckered out. We just got home from the park and we're gonna go in and have some Chinese. My grandmother and my two-year-old and my one-year-old are inside. I'm just trying to let her sleep for a minute. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed getting to see sort of how I put together sort of a last-minute nature study and some activities that were mostly free definitely like super cheap mostly free stuff um, and I'll show you either in this video or in another video how we're gonna set up like a little nature table um, in exploring nature with children and other books that I homeschooling books that I've read they recommend starting like a nature table or a nature shelf of things from nature walks and stuff that your kids want to keep so we're gonna do like glass jars, probably on a wooden tray on um, the top of a cubby bookshelf thingy in our mudroom. Cause that's really the only spot I think that would work. And we're also gonna work on like starting seeds there. So it'll be cool to have like a little mini greenhouse there and all of their little nature finds. So we're having some Chinese. Mom is taking a night off from cooking, right? Mm -hmm. And so we get fried rice, vegetable lo mein, and general so's tofu, and a little bit of salad with ginger dressing. How is it, Jeej? Very good. Do you do? Is it good? Is it yummy? Yeah, good girl. Getting your hair washed? <laughs> <laughs> You're all done now. Are you happy? Yes. Are you ready to go get jammies on? Ow. So it's 15. That's okay. You okay? Yeah. Um, Juliana is sleeping. And Sethi, Gia, and I are watching a movie about a squirrel, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's the superhero school, and I so, it's you guys, okay? But no, wow. Oh, Sethi has on dinosaur jammies. Do you like your dinosaur jammies? And I have a unicorn for me sleeping. Yeah, and she's got her unicorn. And we're still waiting on Daddy and the boys to get home from their field trip. Bye. They're gonna so. come home that morning. 
Bite. Yeah, what's gonna bite. Do this morning? bite. They bite? Yeah. Dinosaurs bite? Do they have sharp teeth? Hey, yeah. Sethi, did you like the pond activity we did? Did yeah. you cut and paste and do Ow. a fishy? All yeah. right, Gia. What about you? Did you like it? Yeah. What was your favorite part about the pond nature study? I kind of liked it because we saw a tadpole and um, the I water. I can't believe you found a real tadpole. We, I would have never noticed that. I have my game song. Yeah. Was that your favorite part, finding the tadpole? Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Well, thank you for spending the day with us. We hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, comment, click the little bell notification thingy. Sure, Jeej. Uh, and... We're going to play away. Smash the like button. Smash the like button for Deej. Sethi, can you say subscribe? Say, subscribe. Say subscribe. 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 <laughs> Follow us over on Instagram at rooted underscore homeschool. And until next time, stay rooted. They stay rooted. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs>